This week I've decided that I'm gonna be the secret weapon in stands, and I'm doing it to support Tamia. When I saw Neva get out there and dance with her girls, I'm like, oh, okay. Is this what we're doing today? Plus, I get to pretty much just mess with Neva. Diana is going to dance with us, and let me tell you something. If we know one thing that Anna can do is piss people off and dance. And those two things, nobody can beat her at. I have never been to a competition where a coach got in the battle and didn't get disqualified. If there is a stand battle, it's between two teams that are teenage girls. If there's a coach to get out on the floor, is because it's written in the rules that a coach can perform with their girls. Yeah, I did that. Like that, didn't you? Need. You wish you could do that, huh? You wish your legs would go up that high. You can pray hard. It may happen. In your dreams. <laughs> While Diana was staring me up and down during that heel stretch, I've been thinking, now why did I not listen to the Lord when the Lord told me not to get my ass out there on that floor? You're 30 something. You don't do most of the stuff that you be making us do, but you can do your death job like that? Really? Who does their death job like that besides people who trying to kill themselves? Cause I can't even do my death job like that. Out of all the crazy <laughs> that Diana has done, and she has done a lot, this is like at the very tip top of the list. She should know better than that. This tops everything. Diana knows she should not be out on the floor trying to do a stand battle and deliver a stance when her girls are in competition. I believe they should be disqualified right now. There's nothing in the rules that say that I can't do this. I'm a prop. Just like how the girls bring in their babies, they bring in extra people. I'm an extra person. I just so happen to be the coach. So boo-hoo, Neva, you can stop crying now. I'm tired of seeing the dancing dolls do the same stuff. I don't see how the judges aren't tired of the dancing dolls doing the same stuff. I mean, how many death drops you want to see? How many rollovers you want to see? Like, Diana, you want to fuss about everything. You need to fuss about the moves and get some more. I'm looking at the divas of making. Their lines are clean. They're not making any mistakes. Damn, we better be careful. are making, throw the girl on the floor that looks like a doll. Yeah, let's do something else. Let's do something else, please. I've seen that so many times. I'm tired of seeing it. That's old, old news. through my chest and all I'm thinking is don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Don't fall. Yeah. Yeah. Shaving since 1995. What the hell is he doing out there? Why 
while the judges were deliberating? I started noticing there was some trouble when I hear parents going back and forth all of a sudden in the stands. And I'm like, the hell is going on? I don't know what's going on, but I hear a Macon yelling, a DDP yelling, and then all of a sudden, everybody's going nuts. It's crazy in here. Okay, so what's the problem? What's the problem? Everywhere they go, that's what they do. She came no, over here. Like, she no. needs to stay calm. They need to stay calm. No. And she need to be quiet. Get her. Get her. Get her. Let's sit here and No, that Ellen needs to check the Girl, what you gonna do? Oh, oh my God. I don't need to shut up. Nothing. Nothing. Rick from FADD tells me I need to shut the F up. Don't tell me to shut the up. I'm trying to figure out what the The DDPs, we ride or die. So if something happens, we have each other back, no matter what. This is the way it is. But then we go. Not in front of these kids, man. Everywhere they go, they fight. Ladies and gentlemen, please return to your seats. We have security, and the situation will be secure. Due to a series of unfortunate events, I'm going to leave the last words to Ms. Christie. Good evening. On behalf of all the judges, we have made it a collective decision that there will be no trophy awarded for the final battle round. Let me speak. No trophy will be awarded, but not because you don't deserve it, but because your parents represent you. And they have to learn that after tonight, no more. No more. Amen. The judges have decided not to award a trophy and stand battle because of the commotion going on with the parents. You know, this is not a good start to the season. Let's get it. Let's go. I just feel so bad. These girls have been working so hard preparing this week. I don't know what happened, but it affected us very heavily, and we did all this work for nothing. Y'all did good today. You shouldn't feel slighted in any way. You shouldn't feel upset. I'm proud of y'all. I'm sure the Dancing Dolls will see the Dazzling Divas of Megan again, but hopefully the fight can stay on the dance floor. Only four of the Divas of Dance girls have moved on to the second round. So I chose Cameron, Christiana, Micaiah, and Faith to face off against them. This is it. Let's get it. Let's go. This is gonna be a tough round. The Divas of Dance have a great reputation, so right now it's do or die. Cameron is gonna win this round. She has something to approve, and today she came for it. Dancing That's what I'm talking about, Christiana. You go, girl. Christiana wins her round again. Now, she's jumping over the hump. She's riding over the hump. She's soaring over the hump like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Divas of Dance will lead this round. Christiana winning her round puts us at two to one. So this means if Faith does not get up here and kill this, there's a chance that we may have to go to a tiebreaker. Faith takes off like a raging bull. 
she's got those horns going, and I'm like, ole, ole. That's right, baby, Tara, that's right. Throughout the week, Faith was struggling a little bit, but right now, she is killing it. Kayla, thank you. Whatever you put in that potion, she is exploding right now on the floor. Three, two, one. Fate should win. But with these judges, you just never know what they're gonna do. Dancing Dolls! Yay! Congratulations, Dancing Dolls, on your win and finally restoring my faith in you in these call-out rounds. During the stands, the Purple Diamonds brought out the sticks. And I'm kind of like, OK, when you bring a prop, the prop is the stand. The prop is going to be the casket closing on you. This stick is going to shut it down. And the stick just was a stick with tape on it. jacking about wanting star and sky and the clouds and the trees and the forest, grass, being the damn stands. Well, Selena, this is as close as they're gonna get. I walk over to Star, or whichever one it is, you're cut. I walk over to Sky, or whichever one she is, and I cut her too. Not only did I cut her, I broke the clipboard. That's how hard I cut you. We're not done. Here comes the twist. It's Jalen's turn to prove that you can actually handle it. If Jalen doesn't do what she's supposed to do, and she gets out there on the floor and she messes it up, she won't be back, trust me. Of course, we all know Jalen was a dancing dog. Jalen went over to Purple Diamonds, but now Jalen is back with the dancing dogs. I just hope that it works, because if not, this could be a tragedy. So I see that Jalen comes out in the stand. And you know what? I gave her a hand because I trained her, so all of my work is showing out there. So thank you very much. As we're doing the stands, I look across the floor and I just see all of the purple diamonds and I just see all their faces like, are you serious? Is that Jalen? And I'm like, I gotta do it, y'all. I'm sorry. Jalen got to do what she got to do. Being back with the dancing dolls, I feel complete with my decision for Jalen. If she's happy, I'm happy. Look forward to seeing her perform, making cuts, and just enjoying herself. Jalen came out during this day and just to let the Purple Diamonds know, hey, I'm back over here where I should have never left in the first place. Go, Kevin! I could look at Shanika's face. She was a little like, damn. They did that. I know. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our call-out round. 
with the top five dancers from each team. Dancing Dolls and Diesel Compton each have won a stand. Everything is riding on this collar around. It's either make it or break it. The Divas came this time to win. Two teams going head to head. We're coming in for the kill. Get him up. gets out there and does a bunch of hip-hop to a fast song, and I'm like, wait a minute now, you're gonna have to come with more than just that, because Makai can do what you're doing and then some. I'm like, nothing can stop this baby right now. It's like a untamed lion on the floor. Judges. The Divas of Compton's captain, I think, is really good. She brings different things to the table. However, it's still the same thing that I'm constantly seeing from them. I'm packing more than one weapon. Always. Canary's literally a ball of freaking energy. Deja goes up next against the Divas of Compton, and this round is going head to head. Janae is hip hop. She goes out to the floor and kills it. I'm very nervous because Christiana's last couple of call out rounds didn't go the way Christiana wanted them to go, and I'm really worried. We're going to lose this week's competition. All right, this is the final performance in our call out round. I know Christina, she's scared for life now. Hey, uh, she's being put up to a challenge that she was not even ready for. Let's get it! Let's go! When Christiana starts dancing, I see a dancer I have never seen before. Christiana came on with it. I was like, that's the girl that I know. When I was dancing, I just felt like I was redeeming myself. This is what it all comes down to. Lord help us. All right, judges. Take that round. I don't know what they looking for today, but Christiana absolutely deserved that win. The f is wrong with these judges? I'm trying to understand. Are we watching the same thing? Even though Christiana lost, I'm proud of her.
Each one of the girls pretty much has their own personality. You know, Cameron is the voice of reason, and she's the leader of the bunch. Christiana is the goofy one who's always cracking a joke, and she'll book you into the floor. Michaela is the one with crazy personality and facial expressions and a lot of energy. Each one of them are amazing. Determining captain is gonna be hard. This is important for the girls to get this thing together because we don't need to have any more losses before the SummerSlam championship. Always known what these three was capable of, so for people to see only them three on the floor, they ain't got no help, nobody to help them out, ain't no Kayla, ain't nobody else out there but them. This a moment for me. Royal Envy is known for a mix of hip hop, of course, majorette, but jazz. We try to keep things really unique and interesting. Royal Envy Dance Team, they have a lot of attitude like we do. They have a lot of energy. They have a lot of high-paced, crazy stunts. You really just don't know what you're going to get with this team. Royal Envy is gunning for the dancing dog. I just know that there is so much pressure on the trio. My worry level is past 100. Christiana, Cameron, and Michaela are out there on the dance floor holding it down alone. I picked these three girls for a reason. I really hope I made the right call. there is no captain battle. Donna can see all three of her options on the floor at the same time. I love looking at the girls. Honey, they can do, you know, the heel stretch. Like, don't move, don't move, don't move. I was getting sleepy. I was probably thinking yeah. food, too. The heel stretch with Chrissy on the camera and Michaela. My Royal Envy gonna try to do the same damn thing. But it didn't turn out quite right. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the dancing dogs and Royal Envy. I think the girls did an amazing job today. When I tell you these girls was dancing for their life, they did it. And I know they can come home with this first place trophy. Yeah! My middle name is Wave. Let me get a straight how I spend my day. I'll be chilling with a committee and bait and crates to the bottom of the bottle where my face can caves. Slave to a little bit of liquid dinner. Every day see my frame get a little thinner. The black widow trying to snatch. As I watch one of the Miami team fans, they have a girl that comes out, and I guess she's supposed to be dressed up like me, and there's a girl that comes out dressed up like Tracy. And it's like her babies versus my babies battling against each other. And because I made a replica of her being Grace Jones, I guess it's her way of getting back at me, but I'm not mad about it, though. No time to pick up a bitch through life, cause I'm kidding it, it's true. Big moves, significant issues, misuse, sip liquor and sweat moves. Still the feed gets long and the bee just grows, but the heat explodes. I'm blown with the bee gets long and the bee gets long. Secret bones in the back of the bee gets long. 
the judges like to see something that's different. And I haven't seen very many dance teams utilize their moms in stand battle. So knowing this, I know the judges are gonna be like, oh, wow, they're actually taking a really huge risk putting these parents out there on the floor. And taking such a big risk on a day as important as this one, that's what champions do. This battle royale, Mimi and I get a chance to dance. I'm nervous because this is not just a DDP dance. This is the battle. So if we get out there and do anything wrong, it could affect the outcome. As soon as the box is open and the moms come out, the crowd goes crazy. Mimi got this look like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tina is ready. I'm really proud of them. I'm watching the Dancing Dolls, and then I see a couple of extra members that I was like, did they forget their uniform? And I was like, wait, those are moms. This is awesome. The Dancing Dolls are sneaking up on that Miami team. It's incredible to watch. I have no clue how it's going to end up. Baby, I was a popping fool out there. And I looked the Miami teams in the eye. I was like, I know y'all laughing at me, but you ain't going to know nothing when I hit this rollover into a split. was expecting the parents to be in the box. Hit the box, veil, Tina and Mimi, the top fools of DDP. But I'm proud of Mimi and my mom because I believe they killed their part. Now it's up to the judges. The judges will deliberate, and we will have our champion, and we'll also have the trophy call. The stand battle is over, and I have really mixed emotions about everything. I feel like the judges liked some of our choreography, but I felt like the judges liked a lot of what the Miami team did. I feel like the battle could go either way. I feel like it could be the superstars or it could be us. There's Diana. How are you today? I was doing fine. Damn, it's Neva. Looking at Neva, it's like making my eyes bleed. You know, I know we're going into a new season. I know we've had our tough times. I just would be kind of nice if we can go into the new season and kind of bury the hatchet, I thought. The foolery? Yeah. Is that what you want to be? Yeah, the foolery from both sides. From the me? No. And the dog. I respond accordingly. It seems like I can never get away from her. She's like, come in my shadow. I know it's competition. I know that. The competition is never the problem. It's never the children. The yeah. children always behave. Yeah. It's usually the grown folks that don't know how to act. And right. you, and I, you and I both know, I know what we're talking about. Like, I'm so sick of hearing her voice and seeing her. It bothers me. And she's sitting there smiling like, hey, hey, girl, like we friends. Hey, you know I don't like you right now. Well, can I get a hug as we start the season off? Is that too much to ask? I don't hug. I'll see you on the floor. Thank you. You'll see girls on the floor. You won't I'll see me. I'll see you out well, there. But then again, maybe. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I've seen you out there. And I've seen times. you, too. <laughs> All right, then. Mm -hmm. a long-standing issue with Divas of Olive Branch, and I feel like this is Christiana's opportunity to make her mark. The Divas are just awesome. You could tell the Divas was into it. They were serious, and they were ready to beat the Dancing Dolls. The Dancing Dolls won't know what hit them today. There's a lot of pressure on me because the Divas of Olive Branch have won before, and when I'm the captain, I can't let that happen. The fact that Christiana came out first week of the season, got everything, controlled her team for her week, that should let the rest of the dancing dolls know each week that y'all try out. Y'all should have no problems. The divas of Olive Branch were not expecting three tumblers.
crowd is going bananas because the Divas have brought their fans out. We just want to compete, beat their ass, and go home. I feel like Christiana did a great job leading the girls in the stand battle, but I'm still feeling like there's a chance that we might not win. As soon as Explosive hit the floor, their captain looked right at Kayla. And Kayla looking at her like, why are you looking at me? You better worry about Christiana. Get her, Christiana. Get her. She's gonna be so young and to leave stand, that's a big deal for us. I get nervous, I get nervous because I don't want Christiana messed up. I'm so excited at the reaction that we got from the crowd. How about you do that, Christiana? This is Christiana's first battle ever leading, and she really surprised me. I'm really proud of her, and the fact that the girls are feeding off of Christiana's energy makes it that much better. I think that the Explosive Dance Company has been watching the dancing dolls a little too hard and seeing that we've had tricks, we've had a lot of different gimmicks that we've used, but you got shirts and hats, plastic ones at that. <gasps> bigger things come out of Texas. Should have been a whole bigger budget, too. These bitches ride a horse. Explosive. Actually, have a saddle. Honestly, I feel like the Explosive Dance Team is going to be the biggest rival today. Explosive seems like a really, really tough squad. The first round, they the whole time. Oh, yeah, they did. They did. They did. The team did a great job, and I feel like Christiana did a great job leading the girls in the stand battle. But at the end of the day, it's really going to be up to the judges. And the team moving on to the finals is. I feel like the girls did a really, really amazing job against the Explosive Dance Company. Now we just have to sit back and just watch and see what's going to happen. From Jackson, Mississippi, the first round is over. Explosive, I'm sorry, you have been blown away. It's time for the Dolls and the Divas to go at it once again. I'm standing there watching her stare into this trophy case like she wants to put her face on the glass. Goodness gracious. So you admiring trophy? Yes, What's yes, thinking? <laughs> What's your thinking? No, I know we're gonna bring home some trophies today. Oh, you think so? I know so. This week, the D3 Elite Powerhouse is taking home the trophies. Texas always brings a lot of bull. Oh, well, this bull has horns. Mm -hmm. Eh, okay. <laughs> See, I smell a lot of bull. Hey, Carla, I'm gonna show you what a real bull look like. Minus the Cameron throws the first stand, 
you're in, when your back is against the wall and you're faced with a situation, what do you do? Player fold. The girls came to play today. The kids look fantastic. They're nailing all their moves. They're nailing all their tricks. Their energy is high. I'm thinking we have zero reasons to lose this round. D3 Elite has prepared some stunts for the judges. They didn't come all the way Mississippi to lose today. No, it's time for the circle diagonal straight line. Whew. Are we ready? Cameron throws the circle diagonal straight line stand. And you know how you, you're about to fart? So you squeeze really, really tight. But cheeks are clenched right now in hopes that they can actually do this right. I mean, if they will, Pretty ballerina right now. And there she goes, tumbling all types of game. That's my baby. Straight line diagonal stand goes off the chain. But D3 Elite, they got some nice stuff too. Judges seem impressed by what they're seeing from D3. And I secretly wonder if what they saw last week will be in the back of their minds and they'll give this team some favor. Showcase what you can do. Remember, you guys are competing for a scholarship. You made it this far. All of y'all did real good today. Y'all killed it. I'm really proud of y'all. And go stretch. It's down to the top five. And all five of the girls they picked, they're definitely very, very strong. I would hate to be the judges right now because any one of these girls would definitely make an asset to the Satin Dolls dance team. Deja, you're first up. Yes, yes! Now you made a swing it, girl! DJ, start the music. Deja is one of our newest dogs. I did not expect her to make it to the final five, but she is showing that she is right where she's supposed to be. Makaya is the team stunner. She's a heavy hitter. She always wows and please the judges. Kayla, watching her dance, she is always smiling, which makes you want to smile. She really makes you enjoy her performance. Up next, Christiana. I'm really feeling sick, like I'm about to throw up. If Christiana gets this scholarship, it would mean the world to us. We have overcome so much in this year alone. This would just put the icing on the cake. I keep my mind. On my money, never made no promises. Don't want no honey. Tell me what you need. Did I read that right? You're texting all these emojis, wanna meet tonight. So what's your plan? This invitation. Trying to be my man, or you just making conversation. Okay, Cameron. All right, kill it, Cameron. Let's show them what you got.
Congratulations on making my job very hard. All of us are really great friends. We all want this, but we also want it for one another. And the winner is, when I announce the winner, please step forward. Deja. I cannot believe I just got chosen for the scholarship. This is such a great feeling. Congratulations. Deja wins the scholarship, and I'm very, very excited and happy for Deja. Deja is an amazing little dancer, and it showcases to me and also the whole team what can be done if you do the work. Yeah. Yes, great things are going to come for Christiana in due time. All these other girls are in high school, they're older than Christiana, but when Christiana time comes, she's going to shine bright. <laughs>